welcome back to my channel. It is Austin with an E and today we are going to be doing some crochet together. So I know on Instagram right now it's a huge trend and it's gonna, it's hopefully gonna continue to be a good trend because I really like it. And um, it's very popular right now so I'm gonna take you along. Um, so here is my Strawbert and if you are on Instagram and you crochet you've probably seen him before um, made in different Pe different people have been making these and this is a pattern by Garden Hoe Crochet and I'll put a picture of her little snail council here. Um, it's super cute. She has like seven different renditions of this snail. But yeah, this is my little strawberry and he turned out super cute. I used Big Twist Posh and then the rest is Burnout Blanket yarn. But yeah, I really, really love how he turned out. So we're going to go together and make his other six friends. So yeah, um... And I also wanted to show you before we start crocheting all our snails, uh, I want to show you some some of my projects that I just finished this week. So if you don't know Crochet by Jenna on Instagram, she has amazing patterns and she's also here on YouTube and she has an amazing channel. So I'll put her name up on the screen and I'll link her channel in the description and you can check her out. But this is her new pattern. It comes out on the 20th of March. I don't know if this video will be out before then or after then, but the pattern comes out on the 20th of March. I tested it for her. It's this adorable little mallard and he's completely no sew and he's super easy and quick to make. It probably takes me like an hour and a half hour to make one of these. And it turned out super cute, and I actually made two of them, just because I love the pattern so much. So this is the second one I made. I made it with a little bit of a brighter gray, which I actually like better. And then it has, hers has a brown body, I just didn't have any brown yarn, so I made mine both gray. This one's more greeny gray, and then this one's a very bright gray. Um, and I think it gives it more of a cartoon look, and I really like it. And I really love this one's eyes. I got them from a small town shop close to me and um yeah so they're super cute and I really really like how this one turned out but this pattern comes out March 20th on Crochet by Jenna's Etsy if it's out by the time this video comes out I will put it in the description not sure how long it'll take me to edit and make this video so yeah if it's past March 20th it'll be in the description for you so yeah that's the little duck by Crochet by Jenna go check her out on YouTube and then this is a lovey that I just made. One of our uh, family friends is having a baby, so I wanted to make them something. And they don't know if it's a boy or girl yet, so um, I made it very like boy and girl could be colors. So it has like blue and pink speckles. And um, yeah, so I did a Pico border and it's just a granny square with um, blanket yarn and or chenille yarn, not blanket yarn, chenille yarn. And I just freehanded this cute little chick and I love how it turned out. It's like a sleepy chick with cute cheeks. I made him just holding one corner of it and it turned out super cute. I really love it. I'm super happy with it. I'm definitely gonna have to make more. But this is just a freehand, but I'm sure I can come up with a pattern for it. So if you're interested in a pattern, comment below and I will definitely try to make a pattern for it. So yeah, I just did a Pico border, granny stitch, cute little chick on top. And yeah, um, it has no plastic eyes or anything, so it is baby safe. And yeah, I really, really like how this one turned out. Yeah, let's get into the snails. So I am currently working on my next snail. And I did make a fluffy strawberry snail. I'll put a picture up for you so you can see that. I did give it away, so I don't have it anymore. I'm sorry. But yes, I'll put it up. It's a cute little snail. So yeah, I'm really happy with how it's turning out so far. I kind of want to freehand a banana snail. I kind of want to freehand a banana snail. Like, how cute. Doesn't this remind you of a banana head? I just had to say, it just looks like a banana. So yeah, that's my snail head so far. And this is going to be either the clementine or the lemon. So we'll see which one I end up turning it into. But yeah, let's get crocheting with these snails. I'm super excited to see how the other six turn out. So yeah, let's get into it. So we have completed two more snails, 
So the next one I made was the lemon. You saw a little clip of me making this. So we have finished the lemon now. And I think he turned out super cute. And I love the pastel colors of the leaf and the lemon. Um, I do know that I put the lemon on backwards. I realized after I looked at her picture and saw how much mine was off. But I still like it. It turned out really cute. I just thought since the strawberry was put on this way, I thought the lemon would be the same, but hers is put on differently. So, my, it might just be my excuse to make another lemon snow eventually. And I also made the eggplant. This is eggplant And uh, I think this one turned out super cute. I love the purple colors. It's a more, I'd say this one's a more reddish purple, and then this is a more lilac purple. But I think this one turned out super cute. I love his little face. And, um, yeah, so you know I was talking about how I might want to make a banana one. She didn't have a banana in the pattern, but one of these little snail bodies reminded me so much of a banana. Like, you know, a peeled banana. I had to make a banana for it. So this is the banana that I made. It's got a cute little brown speckles and the brown stem on the end. And then you can peel the banana. And there's a little snail in there. And then it comes out, or I guess it would be a slug without a shell. But it just is so cute. You can just hold your little banana snail like this. So, yeah, I think that turned out super cute. I just wanted to make a banana. The colors just got me and I had to make a banana. So this is how it turned out. So now I think we're going to make the blueberry snail next, which is Bluebert. So yeah, let's get into that. Okay guys, so I'm at the point where I just finished showing all the face details for the blueberry snail. Um, I just wanted to show you guys, so after I'm done sewing everything and I put the safety eyes in, I always flip it inside out because this is very important to me. I, um, I always hot glue down the safety eyes on the inside because I'm always nervous that they're going to come out because I just buy cheap ones from Amazon. So I always hot glue the eyes just around, around the eyes. Hot glue down some ends that need to be glued down. Hot glue my knots down. Because I don't want this snail's face to ever come out. So I like to hot glue over all my knots. And yes, it's going to look scary when you hot glue the inside. It looks very wrong. But trust me, this will greatly help your snail to not fall apart later. So I know it always looks creepy and weird from the inside. But just give it a second to dry, and then you can flip it back inside out, and it'll be a cute little snail face. So yeah, this is what it always looks like like when I'm in between sewing it, just to be safe. Because I have had eyeballs pop out of my things before, so I'd rather the eyes stay in. And I just I just glue all my eyes, like, on everything I make, I glue the eyes on. Even with, like, this octopus that has big eyes with, um... And it actually has metal backings, which won't actually come out, but I still glue it just because I'm nervous that it's going to come out. So I always glue my things and give it a couple minutes to dry. Then you can flip it over and you got a cute little snail. And now I can keep crocheting. snails we're back at work as you can see so you might hear some like espresso machine noises in the background but yes we're back at work and we finished our snails I put them all in this cute basket that my grandma let me use here's kind of creaky but um yeah so let's go through them one by one so we know our first snail is Strawbert he's very cute I love this one sorry he's got some cat hair like all my stuff um so yeah that's Strawbert but this is Strawbert sorry there's a train going by but yeah, here's Strawberry. I like the way he turned out. 
Um, and then this is lemon tea. Um, I gave this one a little bit smaller eyes to play around with the facial details. But yeah, here's the lemon. And I did realize I put it backwards, but oh well. Um, yeah, he still turned out super cute. This is Burnett Blanket and Sweet Snuggles. And yeah, he turned out really cute. And next was Egg Planthony. I really, really love the colors of this one. I think this is all Sweet Snuggles, or it might be a mix of Sweet Snuggles and Chanel Home Slim. But yes, here he is, Egg Planthony. The next one is Bluebert, the classic one. Um, I really like this one. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, this one I really like. And then we had the pear one. I can't remember what his name is. I'll put it on the screen. But I thought a cute name for him would be Percy. <laughs> yeah, I, if you know me, I really like the Percy Jackson series, so Percy would be a really cute name for him. But yeah, this is the pear one, and my sister is obsessed with this one. Um, and then I have Apple. I really like this one. Um, I didn't have red, so I made a Granny Smith version. But um, yes, he still turned out really cute. And then I was making this lemon snail, and this body reminded me so much of a banana. As you can see, it's a perfect texture for banana. So they don't have one in the pattern pack, but I had to make one. So this is the banana slug that I made, and it's completely peelable. And he comes right out and he's a cute little banana slug and I love him so much. So comment down below. I don't know if I would be able to release this pattern, but if you're interested, comment down below and I'll see what I can do. So yes, this is my fruit basket of snails. And yeah, it turned out super cute. So yeah, I'm super happy with this one. And yeah, <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Um, lots of crochet coming down the chute. So. Yeah, we'll see you later. Austin with Denise, signing up for now. Bye!